Good afternoon, and welcome to 505 Buzz Network. My name is Steve Cooper. I'm Sheldon Peters. Today we have five ways to make yourself an easier recruit. Statistically, only 6.5% of high school football players are able to play on the collegiate level. Wow. Do the math. Out of every 16, that's one player. Mm -hmm. With that being said, the first step in making yourself an easier target to be recruited is be a student athlete, be it a great student athlete. This is one of the most essential points. I'm telling you, college recruiters come and they the first thing they want to know is he a good player. Right. Second thing, what does his grades look like? Yeah. If those grades aren't there, a college recruiter can do nothing more right. because you don't have the grades right now. Right. Um, and also, when you think outside of your big Division one names, mm -hmm. and the you actually your Division one Ivy League, mm -hmm. those have higher GPA standards. Yeah. So you want to make yourself open to all colleges right. recruiting you. Right. So um, you really covered it all. I'm gonna just build off what you said. That uh, we're talking about being a student athlete. Student is the first thing, and um, the name of the game is getting an education anyway. The point of doing all this to get a scholarship. And so we can get an education for lower than what it would cost us if we didn't play. Um, that being said, these coaches can't do anything with you if those grades aren't right. In fact, there are minimum requirements for GPAs and ACT and SAT scores depending upon the level that you want to play with, play at. If you don't have that 2.3, you ain't going to be one. Simple as that. So we got to be a student first. That's why that's our um, first point. Um, also, before I wanted to get a, a piece of advice, like, off the top of the head, the first thing I can think of is get help, man. Like, don't wait till your senior year and your ACT score is too low to be like, oh man, that's too low. I need, man, you, they got prep courses for you sophomore, freshman year. So you gotta go get help. If your grades aren't right, them test scores ain't right, go get help early, man. Don't be stuck out here with all the talent in the world and no grades. Um, the second thing you can do to make yourself easier to recruit is start early. And this is no less important than the first point we had. Um, I have personal experience this year alone dealing with kids that did not do this, didn't start early, and they're going to be suffering for it in the fall. Maybe some of them at JUCO, maybe some of them sitting at home. Tremendous talent, but they didn't start early. They got beat out by the guys that were getting looked at last year, getting looked at their sophomore year. This is a game. The recruiting game is just that. It's a game, and the early bird gets the worm. So you really got to get started. Yep. Uh, college is a, a value-weight recruit starting at the ninth grade yeah. season. Kids are often seen or, you know, looked at at an early age by doing explosive things that people Yeah, they got like Sam Simmons. I think Sam Simmons. Sam Simmons, yeah. you know. The guy shed it like six tackles and yeah. took it for 100 yards. Yeah, these, these big schools, they, they saw that. So. You know, so colleges want that. And you're more likely to get recruited and offered a scholarship if coaches are calling you and talking to you on a regular basis. Early. Early. Ninth grade, eighth if, grade. If they're not doing it early, you need to get on your recruiting process. Right. Thirdly, managing social media is tearing the sports yeah, industry sure, apart. Many high school athletes wonder why I'm not being recruited. Yeah. Hmm. Look to our Facebook and Twitter page. We take violence as something to entice us or something like that. But really, it's tearing your resume apart. Yeah, and that's what it is, man. That social media is part of your resume. This is one that I could go in on. Kids on social media talking about how drunk they got, how much weed they got, all kinds of stuff. Man, look, if I'm a college coach and I got one scholarship, two kids equally talented, and one of them is on social media posting cuss words, who's going to get a scholarship? Not that dude. I'm telling y'all, man, manage your social media. Parents. If your child can't manage their social media, do it for them. I don't care how much they kick and scream. This is, this is losing scholarships for kids. So this is huge. Manage your social media. The fourth way to make yourself easier to recruit that we're going to talk about today is simple, man. Be a leader. The leader is the guy on the team that rallies the troops. The guy, when you go to the game, he's the one you're seeing motivating everybody, and he's setting the tempo with his play and his effort. Um, these are the guys that coaches bring in because of that, because they'll set the tempo and because they know that when things go awry or things go wrong, that they can count on those guys to motivate the team. Also, there's only what? There's only a few coaches that program, some programs have less than 10 coaches. They need guys that are lead, leaders to, you know, kind of hold everyone accountable and make sure that the program is running the way it's supposed to be. 
Exactly. Um, being an Eagle Scout, I focus a lot on this point because to get your Eagle Scout, you have to show acts of leadership to mm -hmm. receive it. Now, you get into a program, and these coaches are looking for future leaders, mm -hmm. not just players, yeah. future leaders, because somebody has to lead that program after those seniors that are currently there right. you gotta lead. That leadership. For any recruit that's just wondering, how do I you know, become a leader? Just motivate, motivate your teammate. You know, we head yeah. into this busy off season. We want to get better, we want to get stronger, we right. want to get physical, but you also have to build the mental aspect right. of that. Be the guy in those uh, off season workouts when everybody gets tired, when there's one more sprint, be the guy motivating guys, hey, get off your knees, man, let's finish, let's push through. Those are the guys that your coaches are gonna pay attention to, but more importantly, those are the guys that develop into the ones that coaches in college take interest in. Sheldon, as we come to a close on our broadcast, the college sports industry is changing on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Our last tip is so difficult for not only recruits, but the parents to yeah. understand. And that is being realistic, man. This is huge. That's why there's a reason we made it our last point because we want to drill this home. You got to be realistic. If I'm under six foot and I play offensive line, I probably won't be going to play D1 football. If these D1 schools ain't calling me halfway through my senior year, I probably won't be playing D1. Um, you got to be realistic. A big part of this, man, is a lot of these kids want to listen to their friends, man. They want to get caught up in what their friends are saying. And your friends don't know any more than you do about recruiting. So you got to be realistic. You got to research. You got to find out where am I most likely to go. Yeah, that's very true. And it's very difficult, like I said, for parents and the recruits. Mm -hmm. um, usually the big time recruits are snatched off the board by your big Division One FBS program. Yeah, yeah. But let me stress to you, you have FBS, mm -hmm. FCS, mm -hmm. Division Two, Division Three, and NAIA. Right. There's so many schools out here to play for. And Carl, Carson Wentz, mm -hmm. North, North Dakota, Dakota State, State, FCS champion. You know, if your dream is to make it to the NFL, and I know that some people it's just to get a college education, but if you're trying to do that, you can go many routes. Right. Look at Malcolm Butler, University of West Alabama. Right. These athletes come from everywhere. If you're good enough, you will be seen. You'll be seen, man. The key is, and we said this earlier, you, you're trying to get your education at the end of the day. So be realistic and let's craft that plan in a way that'll make it easiest to get that scholarship. Well, y'all, it's been fun here on the Find Your Fit Buzz Network. I'm Sheldon Peters, your defensive athlete expert at Find Your Fit. I'm Steve Cooper, the offensive athlete expert. Be sure, guys, to follow us on Facebook at Find Your Fit. Also, you can tune into our website and go subscribe at www.findyourfitrecruiting.com. We're going to have the latest on recruits and headlines in the sports industry. See y'all there. Thank you.